Hello everyone, welcome back to another lesson. While watching these videos, please keep something to write with and your classwork books nearby. This will make it easier for you to take notes, write down interesting thoughts, and therefore have a better lesson. And perhaps, most importantly, all the classes have been indefinitely suspended. Learning never stops. Let's rock. Dinosaurs, dinosaurs, dinosaurs. Look at this picture. It is a dinosaur timeline. What is a timeline? Well, a timeline is a line showing particular dates over a period of time. For example, dates of historical events or the dates when certain dinosaurs lived. In this video series, we will talk about a simple timeline of dinosaurs. First, let's take a look at the size of some dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are really big, aren't they? Well, many of them were actually quite small. Let's look at a short video showing the size of various dinosaurs. You might be surprised to see how small some of them are. However, some of them are really large, super big. Let's check it out. Some people will use a symbolism of the relationship of God to the universe. God is a brilliant light, only somehow veiled, hiding underneath all these forms that you see as you look around. So far, so good. But the truth is funnier than that. It is that you are looking right at the brilliant light now, that the experience you are having, which you call ordinary everyday consciousness, pretending you're not it, that experience is exactly the same thing as it. There's no difference at all. In other words, when you really start to see things, and you go into the nature of what it is to see, what 
vision is, or what smell is, or what touch is, you realize that that vision is the brilliant light. Triassic period. The Triassic period was between 251 and 199 million years ago. It was part of the Mesozoic era. And we can call it the age of reptiles. Reptiles are a kind of cold-blooded animal. In another video series, we will talk about warm and cold-blooded animals. However, before that, I hope you can do a little bit of research about what are warm-blooded animals and what are cold-blooded animals. What are some of the differences? What are some of the advantages, disadvantages, and any information you can find? Uh-oh, it's time for a quiz. However, it should be relatively easy, I hope. Now, I mentioned that the Triassic period was between 251 and 199 million years ago. What does million mean? Please choose the right answer. Time's up. A million is a one followed by six zeros. Do you know what the other numbers are? Option one is one billion. Option two is one million. Option three is easy, 1,000. Option four, 100,000. And another question is, what is a reptile? Please choose one of the following options. Option one, a type of cold-blooded animal. Option two, a type of warm-blooded animal. Option three, a type of fruit. Option four, a type of vegetable. You may pause the video and continue when you are ready. Time's up. A reptile is a type of cold-blooded animal. Therefore, option one is the right answer. And please remember, we will talk about warm and cold-blooded animals in another video series. During the Triassic period, some animals evolved. For example, therapsids. These were mammal-like reptiles. That means they were actually reptiles, but they looked or they were sort of similar to mammals. They almost became extinct during the Triassic period, but towards the end, they began to evolve into some of the first mammals. Do you still remember what extinct means? Extinct means none of those animals are left and they have all died. We can no longer find them. The animal on the right looks a little bit like some animals that we have today. Maybe like a mole or a rat, don't you think? However, these animals are extinct and some of their relatives might still be alive and perhaps rats, moles and other animals evolved from them. Also, during the Triassic period, we had archosaurs. These were reptilian, but they evolved into the first real dinosaurs during the Triassic period. They were not very large. Actually, the one on the left is smaller than a human, maybe about one half of the height of the average adult. And the flying dinosaur on the right did not have any feathers. Actually, it couldn't fly that well. It could only glide, which means maybe it jumped from a high place and glided through the air to somewhere else. Finally, there were also insects during the Triassic period. These insects here also existed during the Triassic period. Can you name them? For example, spiders, millipedes, centipedes, and scorpions. Oh, all perhaps a little bit dangerous, so be careful if you see these animals. 
Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was useful, and I hope you learned something. Remember, we don't have face-to-face -face classes these days, but learning never stops. Take care, and see you next time. Goodbye!